Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where I am going to try out the new foundation or the Blurring Skin Tint by Fenty Beauty. I am going to put this on, I'm going to do a 12 hour wear test. We'll do this vlog style, I know you really enjoy that. This is very early in the morning, it is 9 o'clock in the morning, the sun is coming in. I'm drinking my coffee, I'm still in the t-shirt that I slept in, I've not done my hair. We're going casual style, so if you're interested in seeing what I think about this foundation, I'm gonna do a 12 hour wear test. Stay tuned, and if you haven't been there before, hello, my name is Angie, I'm a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful makeup, even though this is gonna be about foundation, but I just love trying out new things. And if you wanna see some more color in your timeline, if you wanna see some more trying out new things, hauls, a bunch of things, do not forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. <laughs> I'm actually having, I don't know if it's allergies, I don't know if you can see this eye is a bit swollen. So I don't know, honestly, if I'm going to be putting on any eye makeup today. So I thought that this would be a perfect day to try this one. It is a Thursday though, so I am going to be filming my new makeup releases, but I don't know if I'm going to have any eye makeup on because this eye is just so swollen. I don't know what it is, so I we're going to see. I'm going to have this on for a bit and I'm going to film my new makeup releases in a bit. And we'll see if I just put some lipstick on and just leave it at that because I don't want to be stressing my skin out. I bought the 8. I bought number 8. I think it's... Um, what was this? This was a medium with warm undertones, I think. Because I'm pretty sure number 7 was medium with neutral undertones. And I went with the, the 8 one with the warm undertones. This is a light to medium coverage for all skin tones. Blends and blurs to instant perfection light as air. I saw that this was recommended to use either with your fingers, which is not my preferred method, or with a brush. It didn't mention a sponge, so I'm not going to be using a sponge. I haven't, even, I haven't even swatched this. Maybe I should just like see if this is... Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. My dog is here. Coffee is ready. Mmm. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. This lightness is making me so happy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me find the brush. Of course, they recommended the Fenty brush, but I am gonna be using the Nabla foundation brush. I really, really love it. So, am I gonna be... I, I love a squeezy tube like this. Let's just put... Let's just put some on here and in my hair. Is that ideal? Oh my. So, maybe it's a little bit light. Even though this is a medium, that's... Well, this is a skin tint, so they didn't have as many shades in this one as they had in the foundation. Because, of course, this is a light coverage one, but I already feel like this is more coverage than, for example, the NYX Bear With Me or the... Becca doing skin tint that I tried lately. And this is not a glossy finish. This is very much a, like, it's a natural finish. It's not super matte, but it's definitely not dewy. But this is the difference. But let me put it on one side of my face. Um, and we can just see the difference. Like I said, I'm not going to be using any... Uh, eye makeup right now because I'm a bit afraid that I'm having some kind of it could be allergies because I have pretty severe pollen allergies so that could definitely be it I'm really happy I didn't go with the the seven one because I feel like this is definitely as light as I want to go but you can see it really does blur and make my skin look really, really fresh and wonderful. But it still looks like my skin. You can still see if some of my beauty spots come through. I'm having a really nice clear skin right now. I usually don't have problems with sits and stuff. But I did have some, some issues after my antibiotics in like January and late um, early February. But I'm not having that right now. And I think it looks really nice. It is a definitely a light coverage. It says it's buildable. But I'm not going to try and build it up in this video. I'm, I will, of course, do that before I review it. Because this is... Even though I'm going to do a full wear test. It is still just a first impression. So let me do the other side as well. I really think that this worked um, nice with the brush. I very much recommend the brush. This is a brush that not super dense. I don't like a foundation brush that's super dense because I personally just feel like 
I don't like how that is on the skin. That's just personal preference. I like a foundation brush that's dense but has some give to it. And I really like this Nabla one. I think it's really good. Those really dense ones, those are really nice if you're having a super full coverage foundation that's very thick. Then they're nice, but I rarely use that. So that's why maybe I don't like those kind of brushes. I will say this looks really fantastic. I'm so sad that I'm all swollen. <laughs> Poor eyes, poor eyes. Okay, I am gonna do some concealer. Wait, I have some things here. I'm gonna do some concealers and some brows. Concealers and some brows, yes. Uh, I am gonna use my NYX Born to Glow, which is my favorite. And I have a little bit of the NYX uh, Banana Powder. This is the HD Powder in Banana. You can see it, there's a little, little bit left. So I'm gonna use that, I don't. Am I gonna set this? Yeah, I think I might just go over with like a finishing uh, powder. I'm gonna be careful so I don't get concealer um, on my lid. So, okay, let me just, I'll use a bit of this one. The This is just a very, very finely milled, not any color anything from Becca. I'm just gonna use that as a finishing powder and I'm also gonna do some eyebrows and that's gonna be it. Maybe we'll do some bronzer as well. This is looking. I think it's super, super pretty. Let me do some. Ooh, let me do some bronzer. I'm actually gonna use the Fenty bronzer. I got mine in Private Island. This is the the, the powder uh, bronzer. I am gonna. I'm just gonna put just a little bit to get some dimension back to my face. I'm not gonna do super much just to get a little bit of dimension back and just put some warmth on my cheekbones and up here let's do some kind of a glowy blush as well maybe i'll just do a little bit of the nabla one this is in truth it's like a nice peachy one i'll just do a little bit up here I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter from the Elva 2. Um, I really want to use this peach one. I feel like today, today is that day that I want to have this peach highlighter. So I'm just gonna put a little bit up here. I don't want it to be blinding, but I want it to be just pretty. And I feel like this peach one, I really like this one with my skin tone. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. It is 9.30, okay. So it took me not less than 30 minutes to do this uh, situation. And I like it, I like it a lot. I didn't use a primer underneath if anyone is wondering. Uh, just had some skincare 
So let's see how this one holds up. I will leave a link to the things that I used down below in the description box in case you're interested. So I will check back with you in a couple of hours uh, and we'll see if this swelling goes down a little bit. I don't like, I don't mind that. Like I don't want it to look like this. If the swelling goes down a little bit, I'll probably film an eye look later on. I don't know if I'm doing anything with my hair, but I need to film my new makeup releases. That I need to film today because it's going up tomorrow because it is Thursday. So either way, I'm filming that one. Maybe I don't need to wear my PJs. Maybe I do need to wear my PJs. Okay, I'm filming this just a couple of seconds after I stopped filming the other one because I thought maybe you wanted to see in like natural light how this looks. I'm out on my balcony because I think it looks really nice. I know the colors on this camera isn't always correct, but at least maybe you can see like the finish. And my eye is also all in, poor eye. But I don't know, what do you think? I think it looks really great. It looks like my skin, but better. It really does. I feel like out of all of the light coverage foundations I've tried so far, this is the one that's the most matte. And I don't mean that by it looking powdery, it does not, but it looks like my skin there's no sheen or dew or luminosity to it according to me it's very skin like it looks like my natasha denona foundation x but uh, without the coverage it has the same like liquidy texture and it also has the same uh, kind of a finish to it it's a very natural natural matte but i think it looks really pretty so we're gonna see how it holds up like i said it is like 9 30 now so i'll be back hey my baby are you cozy in bed? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? She's like, leave me alone. Oh, you're so cute. Mommy's baby. Did you make this mess? <laughs> Look at this. I have some clothes hanging here that I didn't put away yet. Uh, it's a mess. Okay. Oh my God, that's bright. Oh, I've been editing and uploading and fixing a thumbnail for the video that's that went up last Thursday, it was my 42 minute long haul. And I still, like you can see, I'm still very swollen. Do you see how swollen I am? Like, do you see the difference between my eyes? So yeah, I cannot put any eye makeup on today. So I'm gonna go eye makeup free. I'm gonna heat some leftovers. I'm gonna eat some lunch, cause it is 12 o'clock. So I've been wearing this now 10, 11, three hours. And it still looks really good. So I'm gonna heat some leftovers. I'm gonna, probably walk the dog and then I'm gonna film my new makeup releases I want to normally I would have filmed my new makeup releases already but since I had a swollen eye and I wanted to see if this was gonna go down I wanted to wait a bit are you awake sweetie but there's gonna be no ma eye makeup for me today but let's do some leftovers let's go find Tesla are you tired are you tired look at all that trash that I need to go out with as well hi baby how are you? Are you tired? You want to go out? Do you want to say hi to the camera? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> He's like, nope, I do not. Apparently this is the life this dog is living right now. I also have the other little pupper here. No pupper. Kitty. Hi, sweetie. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, are you enjoying yourself? This room is a mess after filming. Look at this. <sighs> okay, this is our kitchen. We didn't clean up after yesterday. We did risotto. But I also got a pool. Like, I got a happy Easter from my mom. How sweet is she? So I am gonna heat some leftovers. This is our fridge. We don't have that many things in our fridge. We do eat HelloFresh. So we have some HelloFresh here. We still have two meals left from HelloFresh. Oh, now you're awake. Now you're awake. When there's lunch, but I am gonna eat this one. This one is the one I'm gonna eat. This is actually something that we did. Um, when did we do that? Sunday, I think, or maybe Monday. This is beets with goat cheese, and then it is uh, spicy chicken. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna heat that. Mm. Can I help you? Do you want lunch too? Do you want lunch too? Oh, if I'm really nice, will I get lunch too? Oh, you already ate, sweetie. You already ate. Oh. 
Oh, such a cute baby. Mm. Are you a happy puppy? I'm super happy. <laughs> walking the dog oh wait ah, sunglasses it's pretty light outside today it's very sunny we're like the only people here tesla because it is lunchtime in sweden most people are i mean at their workplaces i guess but we're out walking i forgot to tell you it's one o'clock now it's one o'clock i ate my lunch and i answered a bunch of mails this is what it looks like right now I forgot to tell you about my skin type. I have normal skin. My skin is not oily, my skin is not dry. If I ever feel like I have dry skin, I can just put some moisturizer on and I'm, I'm fine. So I have very normal skin, but I do have a little bit more what they call mature skin because I am 37. So I do have some fine lines and I don't like when foundation settles in my lines. I don't feel like this one has done that yet so far. This one looks really, really nice. And I think you can like even see that it's holding up really good. I mean, it's only one o'clock. It's only one o'clock. But me and Pupper, we're going for a walk. This wonderful sweater, I got this from Misguided. If the set is still available, I'll link it. Poop bags. Because <laughs> pick up after your dog, okay? The glasses are from Fendi. I haven't found them online. If I find them online, I'll link them. But I haven't been able to find these glasses online. But they are Fendi and they are fantastic. I love them. I think they are resort. I think they are resort season. Like last, last resort season. So if you find that, I love them so much. But we are gonna enjoy ourselves in the sun. And I'll... <laughs> <laughs> I will film my new makeup releases when I come home. I'll just check back with you in a couple of hours. So far, haven't blotted, haven't touched up. Feeling good. Okay, I have filmed my new makeup releases and I feel like I have like a little bit of creasing that I wanna like fix, but I think it's mainly the concealer. Maybe a little bit, not that bad. Not that bad, but a little bit. I don't need to powder at all. I did put some freckles on and this lipstick. It is the We Makeup Ever Lipstick in 38. That's what I'm wearing because I wanted to have a lipstick on when I was filming this new makeup releases. I also put my head up. Head up. Yes, I put my head up. No, I put my hair up in these. They're, they're uneven, they're horrible, but I just... I didn't want to do it today, okay? I didn't want to do it today because I couldn't have eyeshadow. Sweetie! Sweetie. This cat. But the foundation is looking really nice, isn't it? Do I have a mirror? But I feel like the foundation is looking really nice. It doesn't really settled in lines. It's looking... It's looking... I will say, if anything, it is looking a little, little dry. If anything. <laughs> because this is probably all of the other like skin tints that I have I just used a random pixie spray all of the other skin tints that I have they're like more like a dewy finish they do settle more in lines this one doesn't settle in lines but I also needed to like I felt like I needed to spray a bit now to just make it look a little less dry but it's also nice to not have it move into lines. Sweetie, let's, let's look at this cat. Honey, I'm not saying you're annoying, but... Are you eating the box? Honey, honey, no. What are you doing? Okay, I'm going out with the box. This isn't snacks. You're worse than Tesla. So Ricardo has been celebrating on his work today and he's also saving his hair. Are you gonna be like this? <laughs> I love your hair. He's been celebrating on his uh, work today that he's almost done with his PhD. But it's also this big boy's birthday. Are you three years now? 
Do you want to have some cake? I want to have some cake so bad. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> We're spoiling this dog, you know that, right? No. Uh, nothing for you? <laughs> you like cream? Don't you like cream? <laughs> I'm so picky. I'm not picky. I'm not picky. I'll eat. This is not how we eat a cake, sweetie. Why is he trying to lick the cake? <laughs> okay, so it is half past six. The skin tint is looking absolutely amazing. It really reminds me of the Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus, just with the low coverage. I really, really like it. Yeah, Ricardo came home from work. His book has been printed. He is... I, I mean, you, I, you know this. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know this, but he is... Finishing up his PhD was supposed to be done this autumn, but COVID made everything delayed and then he was supposed to be done Then he was supposed to be done in February, had a date booked and everything But then again, COVID messed everything up But now the book is printed, everything is handed in and he is defending his thesis in a couple of weeks I think that's how you say it in English. I'm just so proud of him So they actually ate some cake, he and his colleagues today just at the lab <laughs> not a not a party or anything because you can't do that right now but um they just had some cake and he brought home some cake for me and he brought home some cake for tesla for tesla is actually turning three years today on april's first april first so i'm picking up a package that's what i'm doing i'm gonna pick up a package and then we are gonna cook some hello fresh getting this high quality content from my kitchen my kitchen floor because I got an H&M package let's unpack I only bought three things and I made this order because I wanted to buy this one it's a blazer I bought this one size up because I wanted it to be a bit oversized I've been wanting just a nice black blazer and I've been wanting one that has it opening here in the back. Like, you're, if, if your blazers come like this, you're supposed to open this one. Of course, after you decide if you're keeping it or not. But I wanted, ugh, I wanted to have a black blazer so bad. So I decided to buy one from H&M because I couldn't find any other good ones that I wanted. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Nice length. I bought this one size up because I wanted it to be a bit looser here and a bit looser in my arms so that I could wear this uh, if I want it with a dress or a t-shirt, but I can also wear it with like a sweatshirt under if I wanted to. Yeah, I think this one is going to be good. And then I bought one more thing that I have been looking at, and that is a denim uh, shirt. I love denim with denim. I love it. And I have a denim uh, shirt that I have... I think it's also from H&M and I've had it for like six, seven years, like it's old. I wear it sometimes in my videos because I love it so much and I saw this one. It is an oversized light denim shirt and it has these kind of like buttons on that you get on like a denim jacket. And I got this one in a small because these, uh, this one came oversized and I like uh, when things are a bit oversized. So when they're not oversized, I tend to go one size up and when they are oversized. I just keep it as is but I feel like I am gonna have a lot of fun styling this and since the other denim shirt that I own since I've been owning it for so many years I feel confident that I'm gonna be, get a lot of use out of this one as well and I also feel like the other one it's on its last leg because like I said I think it's like six or seven years old and I also bought underwear yes this is an underwear haul I bought a big pack of really nice like boxer ones because I, I'm the kind of person that I change, it's not weird, but I change underwears twice a day. Not because I feel like I need to, but I like sleeping in big granny panties like this. And then I put on the fancy ones during the day. Is that weird? Maybe it's a little weird. But I bought these boxers. Because I thought they looked comfy. Hi, sweetie. Was the cake nice? <laughs> 
when I think we're gonna do some dinner. Uh, I think we're gonna do some dinner, some HelloFresh. We have some really nice ones. Maybe you can see how one of the HelloFresh recipes from Sweden looks like. This isn't sponsored by the way. I wish. I wish. I wish this was sponsored. Wow, it's starting to get a little bit darker outside. I don't even know. Do we have any daylight left? This one is still looking good. You can see I'm looking a little glowy, but definitely not oily. We are gonna do some cooking. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. Let me show you what we're cooking. I'm not gonna show you the entire recipe and everything, but I'll just show you some, some pieces, but I am mucho excited about this recipe. So it is currently <laughs> it is currently 10 minutes to 10 in the evening and I have worn this since just after 9 this morning. So it's been more than 12 hours. You can see it's like very dark behind me. My eye is still swollen. <laughs> this lip color did not survive dinner which was delightful by the way. Let me come a bit closer. This has been holding up really good. It is a little bit... I'm gonna bring out actually some powder. It is a little bit shiny and it is maybe worn off just a little bit around my nose. But overall, not really on my... Uh, overall, it's looking really nice. Just a little bit around my nose and also remember that I'm just gonna put a bit of powder on and we can see how it looks. Remember that I am having pretty severe pollen allergies right now. So... It's not impossible that I've been touching around my nose and that could be why it's worn off. But just going over with some of this Becca powder again, it's looking really nice. I will say, this is what I think. If you were looking for a sheer skin tint that's like dewy or like very glowy or even like a satin finish, I don't think that this is it. This is a skin-like skin like finish it is borderline matte finish i would even say this is very similar as i've said in this video before very similar according to me how it wears and how it looks on the skin to the natasha denona foundation x plus but just a sheer or like a light coverage if we were looking for something that's a bit maybe glowy instead or something that was has a bit of, of luminosity to it i would recommend the becca doing skin tint instead if you were looking for something that is a bit more glowy and more hydrating that is uh, more of a medium i would recommend the neo nude by armani i really like those the the becca one the doing skin tint looks amazing it's not like you can still touch it but it just looks more glowy but this one wears a little longer than that one i will definitely say that because this looks great even after 12 hours i 
could like go out like this maybe not this lipstick but you understand like my skin looks really good even though i've worn it for over 12 hours so i'm very very impressed by this and like i said don't usually get oily or like greasy i don't have dry flakes or anything like that but what happens for me is that usually the foundation starts to wear off or it starts to settle in lines a lot and this has not done that so i'm very impressed so yeah i would I would rate this pretty high to be honest that this has been a really good first impression let me know if you have tried this skin tint down below i would love to hear your thoughts and of course i will come back in a future review roundup and i will let you know how i feel about this after wearing it a bit more but first impression i'm really really impressed and that's gonna be it for this video do not forget to subscribe and i will see you tomorrow for a new video